Hi. Just having my bowl of cereal. Couldn't do it. I'm in love with cereal and uh, yoghurt too much. Also, these little round ball ones is Stephen's cereal. And um, it was only like 80 cents at the uh, supermarket. And they're the most loveliest one ever, but they were so cheap. And we had them in Canada and they're the same. But Stephen felt yet to have some because he hasn't had any of them yet. And yet they're his cereal. So I mixed mine up with me. With me fruit and fibre and it's lovely. But yeah, we're just stocking up, ready to go on our big ride. Um, cereal, two pieces of toast, coffee. And that should get us through our big ride. No rice pudding? No rice pudding. But still the cereal, cereal and yoghurt I'm too in love with at the moment. That's the food of the... Food of the moment at the moment. I thought you were going to say food of the gods. No, food of the moment. But, apparently, Chrissy Wellington, who won the Ironman, the Hawaii Ironman, the biggest Hawaii man in the world. She the biggest she... Hawaii Ironman in the world, or just the biggest Ironman in the world? Biggest Ironman in the world. <laughs> the world's <laughs> championships of Ironman. Yeah. The, it's the she's a woman. Famous. How could she be an Ironman if she's a woman? Why? Anyway. I'd never understood that. Anyway. Why can't they call them Iron Women? The Iron Women Championship. I, no, I don't know, but we won't go into that debate now. She eats ten bowls of cereal and yoghurt a day. Whatever. That's what she says she does. That's Whatever. What she I've told you a million times, do not exaggerate, Samantha. She told me in Korea. Hmm. I don't eat ten bowls, probably two. Yeah. So what's the ride going to be like today? Um, Teeny. Right. Hmm? Teeny. Teeny. <laughs> um... Apparently it's your route and I've not been on it and we're going sort of like, normally we go cycling, we go that way over Shalaba and um, that area and over Climb 1, 2 and 3, but I want to go somewhere different so we're going to go over towards that way and head up in Lamo and then come round. So it's sort of the other way around and it's got a 6k climb in it which will be interesting and we're going to take the camera to get some shots of that because that would be really, uh, really quite beautiful. So uh, yeah, two and a half, three hours. Um, so it should be quite nice. And the weather the weather's done it again today. The weather's put on a splendid day, so that'd be nice. Just make sure we've got enough fluid, it's gonna be hot out there. And suntan lotion as well. Um so yeah.